Coming up next, Salation News Asia Pacific. Hello folks, glad to have you join us for the 160th episode of Salation News Asia Pacific. I'm your host RJ Bride of Radio Salation 90.8 FM, the voice of the hills, the first community radio of Don Bosco Asia since 2016. This show is brought to you by Church Art Kolkata, the church decor people. The headlines this week. Cooperators from 13 countries hold Congress. Seminar on Strena theme held for youth workers. FMA Centenary Torch passed on to Assam Youth. YouTube series on Consecrated Life launched. First ever Ecumenical Youth Fest held. Hong Kong cooperators from 13 countries hold Congress. Provincial Delegate Ms. Beatrice Sheikh reports from Hong Kong. Some 100 solutions cooperators and delegates from 30 countries held a three-day Congress in Hong Kong from the 26th to the 28th of May 2023. Well, council members of the Association of Solutions Cooperators included well coordinator Mr. Antonio Bochwa and both well delegate Brother Dominic Nam and Sister Lucretia Univet came in person to join the Congress. The last time such Congress was held in Hong Kong, 1999, 24 years ago. During the Congress, Mrs. Melty Benedet currently serving as provincial coordinator for Philippines North, was selected the next world councillor for the East Asia Oceania region. She became a solution cooperator in 1996 and will now take over from Dr. Philip Yu, who has already served two terms since first selected in 2001. The next regional congress is proposed for 2027 in Vietnam. The World Council is planning for a World Congress in 2026 to be held in Italy on the occasion of the 150th anniversary of the Association's Foundation. Ms. Beatrice Sheikh reporting. The five joyful mysteries of the Rosary narrate events connected with Jesus' birth and growth. The next five mysteries of light show the light of God manifested through Jesus. The five sorrowful mysteries recount the agony and crucifixion of Jesus. The last five mysteries narrate the resurrection of Jesus and the glorification of his mother Mary. The 20 stations of the Life Size Rosary Way is an ideal project for Jubilee Year 2025. For hassle-free professional service, contact Don Bosco Past Pupil by email churcharts.ganguly at the rate gmail.com and whatsapp slash telegram country code 9198310209 Thailand seminar on Strena theme held for youth workers Father Ekasit Thalakulton reports from Chiang Mai the director of Merim Catechetical Center in Chiang Mai, Father David Wichian Sang, Kong Trakundi, organized a four-day seminar on the topic as the yeast active become a youth pastoral cooperator. The seminar held from 28th to 31st May 2023 had 45 participants, including priests, nuns, catechists, and lay collaborators. The Salesian Father Yarat Chayara stressed that the heart of the pastoral work came from Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Hence, youth workers must become yeast who do their duties, even if an insignificant duty, making one the yeast in the human dough. On the second day, the Salesian Father Ronachai Matawapan 
shared on pastoral response to the crisis in relationships young people experience and the need for pastoral accompaniment. On the third day, the Salesian father, Prasert Sumgam, spoke on pastoral work in the parish, which is not only liturgical, but reaching out to all parish groups in God experience. The seminar concluded with the evaluation and Eucharistic celebration by Bishop Francis Xavier Wira Aponrat of Chiang Mai Diocese. Father Ekasitala Kulton reporting. You are listening to Salesian News on Radio Salesian from Salesian College, Sonada Da Chiling. India FMA Centenary Torch passed on to Assam youth. Sister Atisa Roselin reports from Guwahati. Guwahati Province Salesian Sisters held Zonal Level Centenary Youth Fest for youth of Assam at Oxlim College, Udalguri, from 26 to 28 May 2023 with the theme Gratitude and Fidelity. Some 400 youth and 50 FMA from the districts of Golpara, Kokrajar, Udalguri and Sonitpur participated in the celebration graced by Guwahati Provincial Sister Alfonsa, while Sister Dr. Molly Kanyampadi Elizabeth shared the spirituality of St. Mary Mazzarello to the youth, Father Xavier Paul prepared them for the reception of the Sacrament of Reconciliation. Bishop Michael Acacius Topo of Tespu presided over the Eucharist, con celebrated by priests from the neighboring institutions, and honored the Blessed Virgin with centenary scarf in thanksgiving for 100 years of protection. A significant moment on the concluding day was passing on of centenary torch by a group of sisters and young people. Sister Athisa Rosalyn reporting. India YouTube series on Consecrated Life launched. Cleric Ban Hulang Lingdo reports. From 1st June 2023, Dej Prasarini Don Bosco Communications Matunga, Mumbai is offering a series of talks on religious life by Father Chris Saldanha based on his book, Living Consecrated Life Fully. The talks are available every fortnight on youtube.com or at the rate Mumbai Salations INB. Father Chris, a Mumbai province Salation, is a versatile speaker and author of books on Salation spirituality and religious life entitled Exploring Salation Life Today and Challenges to Salation Life Today. Former Provincial of Bombay Province, Father Chris is based at Don Bosco Lunavla and gives conferences, courses and retreats. Founder Director of Don Bosco Renewal Center in Bengaluru, India, Father Chris spent 18 years in Rome serving Salation Formation Sector. With a doctorate from St. Patrick's Pontifical University, Maynooth, Ireland, he served as Professor and Dean of Studies at Christo Jyoti College, Bengaluru. Cleric Ban Hunlang Lingdo reporting. India first ever ecumenical youth fest held. Youth Secretary Rashmi Roy Chaudhary reports from Bongaigaon. Don Bosco College, Bongaigaon, under the initiative of Father Paul Rabha, organized three days of ecumenical faith fest from 26 to 28 of May 2023. Young people, mostly for college and university students from 15 Christian denominations belonging to different castes and tribes of all and territorial region participated. The event had also a number of postgraduate students. The motive of the program was to unite, stand together and support each other through prayer and fellowship. Prior to the program, church leaders and speakers were informed not to speak or discuss on any doctrinal issues of any denomination. Besides, the moments of spiritual animations, career guidance, media education, leadership formation and many other topics were presented by competent subject experts. The ecumenical faith fest was the first of its kind as there has never been in the past. Rashmi Roy Chaudhary reporting. Those are the latest from Salesian News Asia Pacific. This show was brought to you by Church Art Kolkata, the church decor people. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>